Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today I want to cover uh, a little quick topic about how I manage my HomeSeer server. Uh, most of the time uh, when I'm accessing HomeSeer, it's usually through my PC or my desktop. Uh, my HomeSeer computer is stuck in a closet. Uh, if you look at my first video I put out there about my HomeSeer setup, you can kind of see it's just a box stuck up in the top of this uh, closet. And if you ever need to do work on it, uh, the way I do that is I use Chrome Remote Desktop. Um, it does require Chrome to be installed on both PCs that you're working from. Um, but I found it just a little more easier to follow than like uh, Microsoft Remote Desktop. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you how I have it configured. Um, so see here, I'm looking at my home here system. But let's say I want to go in and physically reboot the computer that it's sitting on or change some uh, HTML uh, infographics like the graphics I have here on the corner. What that requires is you got to be specifically on the server or another alternative is if you just want to access the files is to do remote file sharing and just uh, map to those the drive on the other computer. Um, but sometimes I find that I have to actually go into the computer. So what it does is I've installed a, uh, it's called Chrome Remote Desktop. Um, it's a plugin that you add and once it's added, um, you can then add all your PCs. So you can add this if you have a Android iPhone, you can put Chrome Remote Desktop and I can actually control my PC from my phone which is very helpful when I'm away and my wife is saying something's not responding and I need to reboot the computer this is a good way to get in there and do it so once you install the app on both uh, the HomeSeer PC and your laptop or desktop whatever you're going to want to go over to your Chrome apps and here it's going to show you the apps that you have installed and you just want to go to your Chrome desktop and here what you want to do is come in and set up your computer for sharing. Um, you just want to go into each one, that, like I have it set up here, and you'll have to be physically on the computer for the first time to do this. Uh, so like on the home seer, I physically logged in and I set that computer to do remote connections. Um, and as you can see, you can disable them, enable them, and it requires a pin. Um, and if you do the remote connections, it will allow you to go in every time. Um, there is another option of like taking control like someone else outside of your network. That's the share option. You don't want to do that. You want to do the one where it's allow remote connections with a pin on your network. So that way you can access it anytime and you don't have to grant permissions. So once you get it set up, um, it's just as simple as I can click on the home seer here and it will take me right into the computer and this is my desktop and one word of caution um, sitting since this computer is up in the closet Windows 10 has a nifty little feature that if there are no mouse or keyboard detected on the computer it thinks it's a tablet so as you can see my corner here off to the right of the screen as soon as it goes onto the screen it disappears uh, it thinks it's a touch screen now so you have to kind of guess where your cursor's at um, so as you can see I'm bringing it up here and if I wanted to close this out I kind of have to guess uh, when I'm on the X and it, it's kind of hard sometimes but um, an alternative way is uh, I usually have a mouse that's just plugged in and I unplugged it a while back and I've just never put it in because I'm not in here that often and I can kind of guess my way around for the most part because usually all I do is go down and, and do stop and restart um, but anyway I just kind of want to show you a quick tutorial here of how I manage my um, my PC remotely using Chrome Remote Desktop uh, it's a neat little feature there's other options out there uh, I just find this one to be a little more intuitive so if you want to, give it a try and let me know how it works out. Thanks, and I appreciate it, and look forward to coming back and checking out my channel again. Have a great day.